Hello everyone, welcome back to our Lita Kids Church Online. We've got some great news coming up. We've got a lot of projects coming up for the summer, so stay tuned. We've got something special going on in June, and also our VBS coming up in July. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll have more announcements regarding this, and we we'll look forward to all of us being together. With that, we got a great story today. Brother Sam is going to talk about the fruits of the Spirit. And you don't want to miss that. And we're going to open up in prayer with our dear sister, Audrey. Okay, boys and girls, let's bow our heads. Father God, we just come thanking you so much for waking us up today, Lord. And we thank you for all of our family members. We thank you for our food. We thank you for our homes. And we just ask that you may open our eyes and our ears to hearing the message that Brother Sam is going to give us today, that we may understand what you are trying to teach us, Father, and that you may place it into our hearts to where it never leaves, Father God. So I thank you for these children, Lord, and I ask that you just minister to them in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 So we're going to get started with our song with Let's Get Started. All right, boys and girls, let's stand up and find a space where you can dance so we can get our jitters out before we sit down and we listen to the story Brother Sam has for us. Okay, everyone, our memory verse today will be found in the Old Testament, Psalms 27, 14. Okay, here we go. Well, how are we doing today, kids? I'm so happy that we're back today with you, being learning about the Word of God and what God does in our, in our, in our lives if, if we let Him. And today we're going to learn something really cool, something really cool. I don't know if maybe at home or maybe in school, have you ever got a seed and got a little bit of dirt in a cup and put it in there and, and you water it every day and, and and at first it seems like nothing's happening to that plant and, and you get impatient maybe sometimes because you want to see it to grow and all of a sudden you see something come up of the ground really small but as you keep on watering it and taking care of it and the sun hits it next thing you know it starts to grow and starts to grow until it's to grow until pretty soon it produces the kind of plant that it is. Like if you plant, a, my son, he planted these really small 
um, lemon trees in his backyard. And, and I thought, wow, that's a small tree. It's not going to give that many lemons. But, oh, my gosh, the little tree was full of lemons. And, but it took time. It took time for it to grow a little bit, and, and, and it blossomed. And Well, today we're going to see how God, that happens in our hearts. When God comes into our hearts, we're almost, we do the same thing almost like a plant. Because if you plant an orange tree, what, what's going to come out of that orange tree? An orange. You're going to see an orange. You're not going to, let's say you plant an orange tree and you get a watermelon. That's not going to happen. Or you plant an orange tree and you get a banana. That's not going to happen. Well, that's what happens in our hearts. When Jesus comes into our hearts, we begin to look like Jesus. Not only do we begin to look like Jesus, and what I mean we begin to look like Jesus, it means that we become a nicer person, more compassionate to other people. We care about other people. We treat other people different than we did before, before Jesus came into our hearts. But certain things begin to happen in our, in our hearts. And the Bible talks about this, and the Bible refers to them as fruits of the Spirit. Because now God's Spirit lives in us, we become, we start taking on God's character. And some of the first things that happen to our hearts is this. We begin to get love, peace, and joy. And sometimes, have you ever met a person that uh, looked like they were always mad, always angry, never wanted to talk to somebody, never wanted to do anything? But one day, Jesus came into their heart, and all of a sudden, they changed. All of a sudden, they were a more loving person. They were like, yeah, they were so nice and so kind. That was because now, in their hearts, they began to look like Jesus. They began to be like the way Jesus is, and that happens. And then, also, the Bible talks about how God gives a peace, you know, Mom and dad might know about this one. And the older you get, sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. And sometimes life gets really, really difficult. And it gets hard. We make plans and sometimes they don't work out. And sometimes we have problems that, oh my gosh, it seems like they're never going to end. But when you have Jesus in your heart... The Bible says that this peace comes over you that calms you down. Let's you know that no matter what you see with your eyes, that when you see things that are out of control, Jesus has everything under control. He knows where you're going to end up. He knows where you're going. He knows everything about you. And He comes through His Holy Spirit bringing this peace that, oh my gosh, you feel so good. Even if you're having difficult times. Even if maybe you didn't do that good in a test in school. Or maybe, yeah, maybe one of your friends at school got mad with you and you got upset. But you know what? Jesus gives us that peace. That peace that just, oh, everything's going to be fine. And because he gives us that peace, guess what else we have? We, got, we get this immense joy. Joy that, oh my gosh, no matter what, people would say, how come, they, how come he's always happy? He's always smiling. He's, he always looks like, oh gosh, he always has a big smile on his face. That's because you have the joy of the Lord. And these are called fruits of the Spirit. And we're going to be learning that for the next couple of, of lessons that we get together, the next couple of times. How God can grow in you, His character, the way He is. The, when you smile, people are going to see there's something different about Him. There's something different about her. Why? Because God is growing in you. You're becoming to look more like Him. The Bible does say that we were made in His image, so we look like Him already. But now we're starting to act like Him. We're more patient with people, and we're going to learn about that. But now we have the peace, the love, and the joy. This joy 
the only one can give the love and the peace and joy, this kind of joy, the only one that can give it is God, is Jesus. He's the only one. The Holy Spirit comes into your heart and He transforms you and He makes you a different person. And you know what the neat thing about it? You don't have to be like, what, wait until you're like 20 years old or 25 years old or, or, or 50 years old. Oh, 50 is really, really old. But you know what? You can be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It doesn't matter because God can use you and change your heart and make you like Him. When you have love, joy, and peace, you're becoming like Him. You're becoming like Jesus. Jesus is making you just like Him. So kids, we're going to be learning how to let God come into our lives and change us. and makes us better and better and better. And as he grows in our hearts, people are going to notice. And they're even going to come and say, Why are you so loving? Why do you always look like nothing's bothered you? You have this peace about you. And there's joy that you're always smiling, always so bubbly, always full of joy. And you can say, I'm that way because I'm beginning to look like Jesus because he lives in my heart so kids think about that think about letting God change you that you begin to look and act like Jesus so until we see each other again just let me say this quick prayer Heavenly Father thank you for the kids that are watching this video all over the place and we thank you Lord that it doesn't matter how old we are, that as long as we have you in our hearts, Jesus, that, wow, you make us look like you. You make us act like you, behave like you, do things just like you, Jesus. And that's what I pray for all the kids that are listening to this story, Lord, that they would become more like you. Holy Spirit, work in their hearts and in their minds. And we're going to thank you and give you all the honor and glory. So until then, kids, we'll see you next time. And remember, let God give you his love, his peace, and his joy. We'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.